Welcome back to your Sunday on TCM. I'm Alicia Malone. So during the 1950s, Lucille Ball was a huge star thanks to her hit TV show, I Love Lucy, made with her husband, Desi Arnaz. Well, during the hiatus on the show, Ball and Arnaz made our next movie, which gave Ball a chance to return to her old film studio of MGM. It's the long, long trailer from 1954, directed by Vincent Minnelli. Lucille Ball's first film contract had been with Columbia Pictures in the 1930s, but they soon dropped that contract, so she went to RKO Pictures. That was where she met Desi Arnaz when they both appeared in Too Many Girls from 1940. And after a few years at RKO, Ball switched over to MGM, but the studio didn't see her full potential. It was on television where Ball was able to show her talent for comedy, and in particular, physical comedy. This script was based on a novel by Clinton Twiss about a married couple who spend a year traveling around America in a trailer. To make this book into a fun comedy, MGM brought together the same behind-the-scenes team from their hit films Father of the Bride and Father's Little Dividend, producer Pandra Berman, director Vincent Minnelli, and writers Francis Goodrich and Albert Hackett. Reportedly, Desi Arnaz had tried to buy the rights to the book, seeing its merits, but MGM had beaten him to it. So Paul and Inez star as Tacey and Nikki, a newly married couple who decide to buy a long, long trailer and take it on a trip for their honeymoon. In theory, it's a good idea. Instead of traveling to one place, they'd be able to visit multiple locations and it would be cheaper. Though the reality of packing a trailer up with all their things and trying to make food on the road is very different, but it gives plenty of chances for Lucille Ball to flex her physical comedy muscles. So let's take a look from 1954, it's the long, long trailer. At first, MGM wasn't interested in having Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz star in the long, long trailer because this was the mid-1950s and the film studios were desperately trying to coax audiences away from watching their TV screens. The idea of promoting TV stars seemed counterintuitive, and they weren't sure movie audiences would pay to watch stars they could see for free at home. But this was a fairly inexpensive film and shot over just six weeks, with director Vincent Minnelli saying it was one of the easiest films he ever made. In the end, the fact that the movie starred Ball and Arnez worked in MGM's favour. They were very popular at this time, and fans of I Love Lucy flocked to see them on the big screen in Technicolor. Well, from travelling America in a trailer to travelling around the world in a hot air balloon, after this break on TCM, David Niven will take us on a star-filled journey in an epic from 1956. Next on TCM... Around the world in 80 days, then The Killers, and later Crisscross. Watch your back on TCM Today. <laughs> 